Uh, hello, this is Mr. C. I am going to start the online portion of this course um, by making a series of videos um, that will be individually short, three minutes or less individually. They will be posted online. Assignments will be made out of the book like we've been making them all semester, but we will not take those up. I am going to have an online assignment that will be individually graded that I will take up for a grade. We will point the, uh, give you directions out when we get to that. So uh, I'm going to start with section 9.1. We covered 9.1 and 9.2 in the last class that we did, but I'm going to, so I'm going to very quickly review both of them. Uh, probably just 9.1 in this section. Uh, so we have a review of 9.1. In 9.1 we talked about sequences which are basically a list of numbers, called terms that are separated by commas. So if when they say list and they list something like this at AN, N is, stands for a discrete number, a whole number only, something like this, N plus 1. So when I plug in these individual N values, um, this really simple one, we just take them and add 1, getting a list of numbers 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. In the homework, they'll have you list the first five terms of whatever formula they give you. And so for this one, it did wind up being a list. They usually put it in braces. Two, three, four, five, and six. I don't know if that's going too fast or not, but um, maybe just a little more time. All right. This section also talked about factorials. That's indicated with an uh, exclamation point. For instance, three factorial, whatever number they give you, you start with that number, multiply by every whole number back to one. For a formula, if you start with n, then you start with n, one number less than that is n minus one, a number less than that be n minus two, and you quit back at one. Just to do a quick homework example, off page 596, problem 19, I want you to simplify this formula ratio of these kind of factorials. Okay, starting with the top, again you start with n, one less, one less, back to one. So when they have n minus three factorial, you would start with n minus three, then one less is n minus four, one less is n minus five, back to one. As you can see, the top from n minus three cancels everything from n minus three back, and you're left with this formula which is the answer to the end due problem 19, is what this ratio of factorials simplifies to. My three minutes are up on this, so we'll call this part one, and we'll come back with part two.